It gives me a great pleasure to briefly speak about our collaboration with MIG. Um, we at KNUSC Africa Institute of Sanitation are going to be spearheading in partnership with MIG to roll out the educational um, training sector called Useful Affordable Education Drive. And that this partnership we intend to roll up several courses, and our partnership with KNUS, we have over 160 courses we'll be rolling out. And these courses range not only in environmental and sanitation management, but we have courses in public health, business, catering and hospitality, agribusiness, customer service, entrepreneurship, accounting, and many, many more. And what we plan to do is provide training mentorship, internship opportunities for our participants when they roll into our courses. And what we've started to do from ground zero is do stakeholder engagement, like what we are having now, so that on the ground we find out what the need areas are, and KNUSD will sit down and design specific tailor-made trainings also, alongside the 160 we already have, to provide training and empower our youth and make sure that they come out as entrepreneurs or they come out more employable for um, their positive livelihood. And we assure you that once our students come to us, after intensive training and exposure to internship programs and all of that, they will leave with KNUSC accredited certificates signed specifically by the Vice Chancellor, who is a lady, Professor Dixon, is very supportive of youthful engagement and things that empower the youth. So she is very interested in this partnership and has pledged to support us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we also want to look at several vital areas in our economic development and focus on it. So we'll be looking at gender equality, making sure that our women folk also get a good representation in these trainings we'll be having. We are looking at science and technology, STEM education. We'll focus on those aspects as well, making sure that our youth are engaged in engineering, mathematics, um, and all the science areas that will empower them for the future. We will also be doing ICT-based training, cybersecurity, graphic design, basic skills that when they come out with, they on their own can start their own small businesses and be productive citizens in our community. Of course, vocational and technical training cannot be overemphasized. We'll look at making sure that our teams, and thankfully, now our Hassan and Danny talked about plumbing, carpentry, masonry, and how we can empower these people to unite, to become companies on their own and, um, and make better demands and make better business sense than going into the individuals. We can go into making sure that we are training them and making sure they are fully satisfied and they are able to come to a home, do electrical works with no glitches because they have a technical background as well as a practical. We bring all these things to bear and we also know that as we go through this educational drive, we have to also do monitoring and evaluation every stage of the way to make sure that as we are on, with our stakeholders taking on the ground information and doing the diagnostics and tailor making trainings for them, we are also making sure that we are monitoring the impact we are making in these communities and improving. Finally, I also want to welcome partnerships with NGOs, um, government agencies who are willing to be, you know, on the boat with us to ensure that we are making the strides we need. And MIG, as our partner, we are all stepping ahead to help the youth in the Zongo and then intercity development is going on well. Thank you all. Nago day. <laughs>